Hey, it's Jeff here. Welcome to NEBR New England Beer Reviews. Today from Portsmouth, New Hampshire, Liar's Bench, How Meow Porter, like that name, 5.1% alcohol by volume, and they put right on the can, this is 35 international bittering units, IBUs. So porters are a style I like. Of course, I like a lot of dark beers. Uh, I prefer them to some of the lighter beers you find. So I'll give this one a shot. I've not had it before. So um, I'm anxious to see what it's like. And you can see I've already poured it into this uh, New Hampshire glass. It is a New Hampshire brewery, so I use my New Hampshire glass whenever possible. Uh, it's a nice dark, dark brown, almost black, but pretty much dark, dark brown um, with a darker tan colored head that was right up to the brim. Uh, but faded down a little bit well, after about a minute or so. So now the aroma. Chocolate. They use chocolate malts, and it says right on the package, use chocolate malts in this, and they use wheat malt in this as well. So I'm getting that kind of, oh, field-like, dark, roasted chocolate character in the nose. Uh, a light, very low hop profile. Probably earthy, probably maybe floral, but I'm not getting a huge hop profile on that. But porters are not really meant to be hopped up. They're meant to be malt forward. And that's what this one smells a lot like. And the chocolate does have a roasted character, kind of a almost like an ashy, not burnt, but ashy character. Like charcoal, perhaps? Okay, time to taste it. And the body on this is probably in the um, high light, low medium range. It's not, it's smooth though. It's very creamy and smooth. I will say that. But it's not super thin, uh, but it's not watery or anything like that. It's just a lighter body going toward medium. So it's kind of nice in that regard. The taste though, it is sweet and malt forward and the chocolate is there, but the bitterness is much more pungent or powerful in the taste. A traditional bitterness I'm getting, kind of an earthy uh, sort of uh, floral sort of bitterness, but more earthy, I would say. And um, But it's, it's it lingers a bit at the end. Hmm. Again, a creamy, smooth, um, soft texture to the body, a lighter body. The chocolate character, it's not a super sweet. The sweetness is there. It starts out kind of sweet, but then it gets really more bitter at the end. So it leans bitter, but it's not like a uh, an IPA type bitterness, a juiced up type bitterness, or, you know, like a tropical or citrus type bitterness. It's really an earthy kind of bitterness, uh, the kind of bitterness I like, kind of the traditional kind, I would say. Yeah, that's how I would de define it, yes. It's a nice beer though. Of course, I like porters. Porters, stouts uh, are high on my favorites list. Old ales are right up there too. Uh, barley wines are right up there too. So anything that's kind of on the darker side, uh, I tend to like. 5.1%, uh, that's that's about where a porter should be in that ballpark. Hmm. So the 35 IBU, as I mentioned at the beginning, so you are getting a slight lingering bitterness at the end. It's kind of a nice bitterness though. It reminds you that you've just enjoyed a good beer. That's one way to put it. So that will do it for now. This is from Liar's Bench of New Hampshire. This is How Meow Porter. <laughs> Thanks for watching NEBR. I'll catch you again next time.